Hey guys, reporting from my car. It's Sunday, it's about 3.50 p.m. I wanted to take a second to talk about why I haven't been vlogging this week. I have been dealing with severe anxiety. Chest pain, racing heartbeat, dizziness, lightheadedness, blurry vision, stomach aches, which I mean, I normally get stomach aches and my anxiety anyway, but literal panic attacks. I actually had to go to the hospital because I could not stop panicking. It was um, scary and debilitating. I don't know what the trigger was. Normally I'm really good at knowing my triggers and combating them so that I don't have this issue. Suddenly I am at a complete blank. So that's something that I'm dealing with now. I kind of took the weekend to just sleep really and rest and just be gentle with myself. I am cutting out caffeine. There will be no more coffee for me, which breaks my heart because you guys know that Duncan is my life. So I have to cut out everything that could potentially be contributing to my panic attacks because it's literally debilitating me to the point where I can't work, I can't study, I can't do anything. Literally can't do anything. I can. I'm, I left the house and like leaving the house seems to be good, like to get the fresh air and everything, but. I can't really be around people, I, I can't eat, I can't sleep, can't do anything. I've been having a difficult time sleeping at night the last few months anyway due, due to anxiety, but not to this level. Like, that anxiety was maybe at a 4, and I'm, not, I'm at like an 8, 9, maybe even a 10 because of how bad, like if I'm in the hospital for panic, panic attacks, getting out of van, like there's a problem. So, I'm figuring it out figuring it out slowly but surely i'm starting off fresh i'm only drinking water fresh fresh snacks fruits veggies so right now i have some cucumber and vinegar with salt and pepper and this might this might be my little thing because this this is good <laughs> and i'm trying to develop a healthy sleep regimen i know i said or i may have said that i was going to get back into the gym soon and i've been putting it off but i can't put it off any longer i have to make it an effort I have to make a very important effort to at least get 10, 20, 30 minutes of exercise a day. That's my life right now. And so I'm choosing to share it because why not? It's normal. I mean, it's not normal, but it happens, you know? And I'm going to come back from this. So, yeah, um, I won't be vlogging any of my panic attacks, but... I will show you guys as much as I can in terms of how I am going to battle this and how I'm going to win. I'm reclaiming my life. I still have a midterm to take. Somebody had diarrhea. Blake, I would like to ask you a question. Have you or have you not considered staying out the trash? Have you not had enough pain and suffering of sudden diarrhea? Have you have you not? Can you can you come here? Can you come to the camera so that I may interview you, please? Can you please come to the camera so I may interview you, sir? It's 1 p.m. I have been in bed and 
My boyfriend came home and ordered my dog to wake me up. So he is sitting here and he is waiting for me to get my ass out the bed. with my makeup and I had to wash my hair so um I gotta go <laughs> happy Saturday ring light can y'all tell the difference I am up I'm claiming this energy with no caffeine day Day 11, I had caffeine last Wednesday. Day nine or 10, no caffeine. Just my water with my lemons and my lime. Um, I know I look tired. I always have bags under my eyes, it's fine. Ignore the mess, that is that. We're gonna clean that later, but we're gonna get out now. I kinda wanna enjoy the daylight while it's there. Get out first thing, because I like to talk myself out of getting up. And I like to go back to sleep, so. Trying to talk and do this is actually kinda difficult. I don't know how people do this. So, getting it sorted out. I haven't been having any panic attacks. I had a week full of rest that i really didn't record and i made a big lifestyle change which for me was coffee i cut coffee completely i've literally been drinking water this week and water only the only thing i had this week that wasn't water was hot chocolate and my boyfriend got a sparkling <laughs> sparkling white grape whatever you see it's back there the sparkling stuff because he knows I'm cutting liquor, so he decided to cut liquor with me for Valentine's Day as well, which I thought was really sweet. I started to notice that I was developing anxiety again months ago because I wasn't sleeping well. And the reason I say that is because I love to cuddle and normally my boyfriend and I will start off cuddling and then like, we'll separate throughout the night and come back together, separate, whatever, you know, it's fine. It's normally fine, but I felt like I was suffocating when he was cuddling me. And I know that like that seems like it's something that's normal for a lot of people. Like they really just like, can you not touch me? I'm trying to sleep. I can't be touched. So I I tried telling myself it's fine, it's normal. But then it became I just can't sleep at all. Like not because you're touching me. Like I just. I wake up multiple times throughout the night and I was falling asleep completely fine. One thing about me, I'm going to fall asleep. So I was falling asleep completely fine. You hear my stomach growling? I hope not. And, um, but I just, I couldn't stay asleep and I kept thinking about crazy things like I would be thinking about work or I would be thinking about school, which are like normal stresses, but it was to a very unhealthy level and it just continued to worsen and worsen and the things that I was thinking about continued to just become crazier. Like, I'm always someone who's had very vivid dreams and nightmares. I have a lot of nightmares. I don't know why. I don't know. My brain is really crazy. Like, I try to write them down right after I have them just because the storylines are so crazy and like I really could write a book on just various nightmares one day but um i have really bad nightmares and really vivid dreams all the time so i was waking up and i was basically dreaming while awake like not like not like sleep paralysis or anything like that like i would be awake and i would be vocalizing my dreams or like vocalizing my dreams in my head internally 
but I wasn't actually asleep. They were just my thoughts. Like my thoughts were putting out these crazy storylines. So basically my brain just wasn't shutting off. So I was like, okay, this is starting to really like inhibit my life a little bit. And I scheduled an appointment for my doctor. My stomach, I'm so sorry, I'm actually hungry. Scheduled an appointment with my doctor and I was like, look, is it possible for me to go on a low dose SSRI just so that I'm able to sleep because I can't sleep. And so she prescribed it to me. Got home, I didn't take it right away. I was like, I'm gonna try to wait this out and then I will start taking it if I decide to. Not even a week later, panic attacks. And in terms of for my lifestyle change, I made those changes. I feel like anxiety is not taking over my life right now. I am taking it over instead. On a real note, if any of y'all wear lashes on a regular basis, I used to wear them every day. I don't know how because I hate, hate when that glue just gets stuck in your lashes forever. If y'all have any tips on how to get that out, please leave it in the comment box. Look at my bags, they just never <laughs> let me live. I would be so much cuter if I didn't have the bags. But I'm gonna love myself anyway cause I'm rich and they're Chanel bags. <laughs> That line is strong. Is there anything else I want to do to my face? I don't like the fact that my face is just so like flat looking. Just adds a little bit of dimension. I used a Burt's Bees color chapstick. This is in Rose, but Red Dahlia. I like to use that one in the fall, but I like Rose more because it's more pinky than it is red. And just so I look a little bit more like put together. I like to add this um, on top of the chapstick so it kind of blends itself out. Very little on my bottom lip, keep it full. Don't have a top lip, define it. But I don't overline because it looks goofy on me because I don't have a top lip. Don't tell nobody. And for the win, lip oil. Lip oil looks so juicy. Only thing is, it doesn't last that long and it's actually not that hydrating. I feel like sometimes it dries up my lips. But on top of a chapstick, it's perfect. I only have one edge done from yesterday. I'm not doing the other one. Don't act, no, no, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm gonna put my Sherpa on, and I'm gonna head out to Bath and Body Works, and I have to go to Walmart today. I might have to go to Meyer, but I might just try to do everything I need to do at Walmart so I don't have to get out my car twice because I can't get out my car. It's too cold, I'm gonna cry. Lastly, before I go, these are the best B vitamins ever. They give you energy but they also help to kind of like calm you it's weird amazon so when it's time for me to leave or whenever blake just doesn't move so i have to squeeze out the door bye blakey literally let me show you this squeezing out it's just ghetto y'all so i got my six soaps i got them for $18.97 because in my email i had the $2.95 promotion as opposed to the two what was it six for 26 that i showed you guys so i got them for less than 20 bucks
I'm trying to figure out, do I want to go to Walmart first and run my errands, or do I want to eat and then go to Walmart? So I'm going to see what's close, because if I go eat, I think I'm going to go to Panera, because I've really been craving the, um, the pash, the green tea, the green tea is so good. So I think I'm going to go to Panera, I'll probably get a salad and a sandwich or something like that, and then I'll go to Walmart probably. We'll see. I wanted to show you guys the icicles that are on my, that are in my way, basically. That's how cold it is, but um, I'm about to go in Panera. My window is so dirty. Ugh. That was a shit show. Shouldn't do that again. Okay, it looks better now. <laughs> Let's go. just left Panera. I didn't eat my sandwich. I took it to go because I'm trying not to overstuff myself too much. I'm really trying to figure out there's a world of energy outside of caffeine. So try not to overstuff myself. I drank the first thing that wasn't like water or hot chocolate or like, like whatever. I mean, I did have that sparkling stuff last night, but I did get some juice or the green tea. What is it? Passion papaya. This is really what I came for. All right, so I'm back at the laundromat. I will take the time to show you guys my soaps that I bought. So I got, this is Island Papaya. I wanted to get some more like, I wanted to get some scents that were for like spring, summer because I have like my lasting winter scents still. So this is Island Papaya. I got the deep cleansing one, so it has like the beads and stuff. You guys can't even see that. It's bright, it has the beads. Okay. I got um, Peach Bellini. This one is just like a creamy type. Watermelon Lemonade. We love this candle, so I just got the soap. It's classic. Kitchen Lemon. This is my favorite soap to keep in the kitchen. I should have gotten two of these, but I did. This is my favorite one. I could always go back. <laughs> um, Flamingo Beach, summertime, deep cleansing, has the beads. And Rose and Water Ivy, perfect for the spring. And this is one of the gentle soaps. So yeah. The watermelon lemonade is a gentle soap too. So I got those. All right, bye y'all. I have nothing to talk about. Look at the sun though. Ooh, look at that lighter. Go ahead, snap that. Snap it. All right, for real, bye. All right guys, so I'm back home now. I'm going to straighten up the house fold my laundry. Okay, this is weird. I hate how folding hot laundry makes my hands feel. Don't be trying to put this in your YouTube now. We want to be there when you get money. Not, when you <laughs> <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> Not for free. <laughs>